Reverence Him. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad on it. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, Grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may marry to reach our heavenly homeland through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, for the promise of life in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God whom I worship with a clear conscience, as my ancestors did, as I remember you constantly in my prayers night and day. I yearn to see you again, recalling your tears, so that I may be filled with joy as I recall your sincere faith that first lived in your grandmother, Lois, and, your, and in your mother, Eunice, and that I am confident lives also in you. For this reason, I remind you to stir into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel with the strength that comes from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all your lands. Sing to the Lord, bless His name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce His salvation day after day. Tell His glory among the nations, among all peoples, His wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord your families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due His name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Please all stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 other disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. He said to them, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Go on your way. Behold, I am sending you like lambs among wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals, and greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you, for the laborer deserves his pay. Do not move about from one house to another. Whatever town you enter, and they welcome you, eat what is set before you. Cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Parish and National Shrine of St. Padre Pio. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saints Timothy and Titus, bishops. They were both beloved disciples and close associates of St. Paul in his apostolic activities. They are models of apostolic virtues. They followed the advice of St. Paul to preach the gospel even in difficult circumstances. They were faithful servants of the gospel. We heard in our gospel today that Jesus sends out the 72 other disciples he gave them instructions for their journey. He told them to travel light and to trust Him at all costs. Binalaan, binalaan din sila ng Panginoon na hindi magiging madali ang kanilang magiging misyon at tatahaking landas. May mga pagsubok, may mga pag-uusig, at may mga Panganib. Ganyan din mga minamahal ko mga kapatid sa ating pananampalataya. God is sending us to bring the good news, to be witnesses of Christ. Ngunit alam din naman natin na hindi ito ganun kadali. May mga pagsubok talagang tumarating sa ating buhay pananampalataya. Kung minsan sinusubok tayo sa ating financial na buhay, nagkakaroon minsan tayo ng karamdaman, nagkakaroon kung minsan ng kasamaan ng loob dahil sa ating paninindigan, mayroong mga taong hindi tumatanggap sa atin, mayroong minsan nakakapanakit sa atin o sa ating damdamin. Ganun pa man, huwag natin kakalimutan na sa pagsugo sa atin ng Panginoon, sa pagtupad natin ng ating mga misyon sa buhay, ay nandoon ang pangako na hindi niya tayo iiwanan. Sinasabi sa atin ng Panginoon na magtiwala tayo sa Kanya, magtiwala tayo sa Kanyang kapangyarihan. Kung tayo ay isinusugo niya, Nandoon naman ang assurance na hindi niya tayo iiwanan o pababayaan sa ating pagtupad ng ating mga misyon sa buhay. 
As we continue this Holy Eucharist, let us pray for one another to grow in faith so that we may strive to live as faithful disciples of Jesus. Let us not forget the privilege that we are privileged to be part of the mission to share the good news of God's kingdom to others. Napakapalad natin dahil tayo sa kabila ng ating mga kahinaan sa buhay ay tinatawag ng Diyos, sinusugo ng Diyos upang ipahayag ang mabuting balita, ang kanyang pagliligtas, ang kanyang pagmamahal. Saints Timothy and Titus, pray for us. Amen. For your offerings in the envelope, you may drop them at the collection baskets. Please all stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus. And in your kindness, render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and over all humanity, your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna. who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we this and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gilbert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be called heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Please all stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For 
Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Those who are unable to kneel, please remain standing with reverence. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The second collection, which will be done, is for the continued development of the parish and national shrine of St. Padre Pio, and for the needs and welfare of the sick and retired priest of the Archdiocese of Lipa. Thank you for your offering.
Let us all stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of saints Timothy and Titus. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer for intercession to Santo Padre Pio. All together, Padre Pio, Holy Monk from Pietrelcina, outstanding saint of the present era, our bright beacon in this earthly pilgrimage, our sanctuary in times of trouble, holy exemplar of great courage, with you our needs do we confide, as well as our livelihood, our health, and our might. Unworthy as we are, we pray that you concede, bless and grace us that our lives may be fulfilled. From sin may we abstain, in God may we remain. We also beseech the servant of the Most Holy to instruct us in the gospel that we may reflect and believe. Our requests are before thee. Our hearts repent, resolving earnestly to not sin again, to always follow God the Father, together with the Spirit, and Jesus the Mediator. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Una, sa inyong pagdalaw sa pambansandambana, mangyaring pakaingatan ang inyong mga personal na gamit. Hangad namin ang isang matiwasay at maayos na pagbisita sa National Shrine. Ikalawa, mga kapiyo, kami po'y humihingi na inyong kaunting oras at pakikiisa para sa pagsusulat ng inyong mga pangalan at ilang detalye sa ating Pilgrim's Information Record Books na makikita sa paligid ng ating mga simbahan. Ito po ay bahagi ng Documentation Program para sa pagpapalawig ng mga datos at turismong pangsimbahan at bilang alaala din ng inyong pagbisita sa Pambansan Dambana. Para po sa ating mga balikbayan, OFW at mga kasama niyong foreigners, doon po kayo magsusulat sa International Pilgrims Record Book. Gagabayan po kayo ng ating mga tagapaglingkod. Ikatlo, mga kapiyo, sa paghahangad nating makapagdasal ang mas mataimtim at maayos, ninanais nating magkaroon ng mga upo ang may sandalan sa Divine Mercy Sanctuary. Sa ganitong diwa ay muli tayong kumakatok sa may mamabuting loob na maghandog ng tulong para sa katuparan nito. Makipag-ungnayan lang po kayo sa ating pamisahan at opisina para sa mga detalye. Maraming salamat po. Ikaapat, para po sa pagpapalaganap ng dibusyon sa ating patron, ang Confradia ni Santo Padre Pio ay pupunta sa Thailand ngayong February 20 to 24. Sa mga nagnanais po sumama, kayo ay makipag-ugnayan sa opisina o sa pamisahan hanggang January 30 lamang. Maraming salamat po at mangyaring panatilihin natin ng kalinisan, katahimikan at diwa ng pananalangin sa loob at labas ng ating mga simbahan. Magsitayo na po ang lahat para sa pagbabasbas na religious articles. Mga kapatid, manalangin tayo sa Diyos amang makapangyarihan upang tayo ay maging kawangis ni Kristo sa time-team na pagdalangin sa tulong ng mga larawan at mga dasalan. O Panginoong Diyos, Ikaw ang bukal ng lahat ng pagpapala at biyaya. Ibuus mo ang iyong bendisyon sa mga gamit na ito sa pananalangin. Mga rosaryo, imahen, dasalan na nagpapaalala ng iyong kabutihan, kabanalan at pagmamahal sa amin, upang ang lahat na dumulog at magdasal gamit ang mga ito ay magtamo ng iyong awa at biyaya. Loobin mong tularan nila ang kabanalan at aral ng Panginoon at ang mga santo magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. At this was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Proclaim His name, give thanks to the Lord. 